Now, another cause of tension. Good old American parents. Is the fear of falling. Good old American parents. I'd listen to everybody on TV and radio. Good old American parents. A reprobate man. That's the predator. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Is fallen, is fallen. A serial sex offender, Jeffrey Epstein, the Palm Beach millionaire who preyed on teenage girls. Predator. You live in a generation of reprobates. Media and so forth have conditioned the minds of the people. By doing that, they're controlling the people. I identify as both non-binary and pansexual, which are two very fancy ways of saying, I, I don't care. The new bill that will strengthen abortion rights will protect Roe v. Wade regardless. Two million Americans are now addicted to prescription or illicit opioids, four times the number of 20 years ago. They slipped. My name is Legion, for we are many. They failed. The world is given into the hands of the wicked. They die. Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. And I don't care how degenerate this, this culture has become. Is fallen. A pervert is a pervert. Start using the term gender transcendentalist. I'd listen to everybody on TV and radio. You. It's been announced that primary school children, as young as five, will receive lessons in sex education, and that's going to include same-sex relationships, transgender families. You see, the generation today, for the most part, has long since divorced itself from the real world. As well as that, for the first time, parents will lose the right to opt their children out of secondary school sex education classes. Members say the opportunity to interact with kids is part of their overall mission. I think there's space for kids inside of a box that you can choose your expression. People yourself. are Anyways, so reprobate by watching television day in and day out. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. American parents. Parents have lost the will to protect their children. Good old American parents. Good old American parents. America's spirit of lawlessness is opening unprecedented doors, allowing demons to have access to even the most innocent among us. Even the celebrities and stars are falling. Please, we need prayer. Pray for the lost sheep. Even the celebrities and stars are falling. Good old American parents. You accept Jesus Christ and who died for your sins, you're not going to have a chance to stand before God and go to heaven. You're going to go straight to hell. And God is offering you forgiveness today. When a toddler asked a drag queen to sing his favorite song, they just couldn't say no. I was doing the brunch and the sweet kid and his family uh, were there. Good old American parents. Good old American parents. Performance and he was so sweet and he gave me a dollar and it was very sweet. Opening some people's eyes to drag for the first time. But Marty Gould Cummings has been doing drag for years. Shut up. <laughs> Try to sing a dramatic song. They won the Glam Entertainer of the Year Award in January. Notice when this reporter is referring to this man in a dress, she uses the pronoun they. They won the Glam Entertainer of the Year Award in January. My name is Legion, 
for we are many. And I wanted to be an actor. And, and the universe had a different plan for me. The universe put in place the opportunity to be a drag artist. And that rendition of Baby Shark. Why all of a sudden we have this explosion and perversion? Why all of a sudden we have all these people that are get so mixed up about their gender identity and everything is changed? Where did all this come from? I know this. I know that they have received the spirit. I know every one of them have a spirit. They've received that spirit. And it's not the spirit of the living God. Well, the U.S. suicide rate rose by 25% over the past two decades. Why are we seeing a resurgence in these sexually transmitted infections? During the AIDS epidemic. A lot of our community was horrifically wiped out from this disease and drag queens, you know, took to the streets and they held fundraisers. More recently, Marty says, drag queens have protested for marriage equality and against the transgender military ban. It's also about opening people's eyes to different ways of living, and that includes kids. And I think exposing young people to people who aren't like them is how you break prejudice. Marty says the people who come to their show end up realizing they're more alike than different. The Daily Wire reported that parents had refused to facilitate a sex change of their autistic son, so authorities threatened to put him in foster care. The parents claimed an NHS clinic in the UK said their 14-year-old son should be put on hormone blockers since he told them he thought he was a girl. The parents believed their child's autism played a role in the declaration of gender confusion, so they refused to cooperate with the transition since the blockers can cause irrevocable harm. After the mom and dad pulled their son from the gender clinic, school officials reported the parents to child services for emotional abuse due to their objections to the sex change. One of the teachers told the parents that they should find alternative accommodations for their son or else he would be put into temporary foster care. The mother sitting in jail suspected of killing her own daughter, deputy say. By placing a pillow over her face. Now he told police he did it because voices told him to do so. When she was arrested, she told police she heard voices in her head. That beloved Paul warns us that these fallen angels, these desperate demons, now oppose us in spiritual warfare here upon the earth. Paul warns us that these fallen angels, these desperate demons, now oppose us in spiritual warfare here upon the earth. Please, we need prayer. Pray for the lost sheep. The stars are falling. James said this about faith. He said, if you have faith and have not works, you don't have faith. You need to stop with your rebellion. Stop with your witchcraft. Stop with your idolatry. Stop with your fornication. Stop with your adultery. Stop with your homosexuality. Stop with your lesbianism. Stop with your strip club perversion. Stop with your pornography. You need to get right with God. Because if you don't get right with God, you are going straight to hell. And you're living in sin. But God loves you. God cares for you. As society falls, more and more parents are becoming tools of Satan used to destroy their own children. We start this morning with breaking news overnight in Colorado. The husband of a missing pregnant woman is in jail and now charged with her murder and the murder of their two young daughters. 34-year-old Shannon Watts, 4-year-old Bella, and 3-year-old Celeste were last seen on Monday in Frederick, just north of Denver. Christopher Watts has admitted to killing his wife and his young daughters, and he's agreed to take investigators to their bodies later today. Jerika Duncan is following this unfolding tragic story. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. Christopher Watts has been charged with three counts of first-degree murder and three counts of tampering with evidence. He spoke with local news stations after their disappearance, claiming he just simply wanted his family home. <laughs> 
CBS Denver station KCNC reported late Wednesday that Christopher Watts allegedly confessed to killing his wife and daughters, four-year-old Bella and three-year-old Celeste. He is now being held at the Weld County Jail. Do you guys have fun at school? Yeah! On Facebook, Shannon Watts portrayed a happy family, sharing photos of holidays, vacations to tropical places, parties, and business trips. Mommy has a baby in her belly. She was 15 weeks pregnant and posted on Facebook, I'm excited about August, gender reveal for baby Watts number three. I just want them back. <laughs> I, just, I just want them to come back. Before allegedly yeah, making a confession, Christopher Watts safe, pleaded for his family's safe return. If somebody has her, just please bring her back. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not gonna According to court records, the couple had financial issues in recent years. There is no known motive for the alleged killings. Shannon Watts' family said in a statement, they are deeply saddened over the senseless and inhumane murder of her and her daughters. A deputy warned she had tried to kill herself once, and if she got out of jail, she would probably try again. Firefighters called deputies to the home on Kessler Place. When they entered the house, they found twin eight-year-old boys dead and Dorothy Flood unconscious. Deputies say they questioned Dorothy Flood here at Northwest Medical Center. They say they warned her twice that her statements could be used against her, but she still confessed that she shot her grandchildren. According to the deputy's report, the boy's mother is dead. Dorothy Flood said she was the sole caregiver for the boys and she alone was responsible for their deaths. The report says both boys were autistic. Flood said she shot each one twice, once in the torso and once in the head, then tried to use prescription drugs to kill herself. A mother and daughter are in police custody after being accused of killing five of their family members. Police say 45-year-old Shauna Decree and her 19-year-old daughter Dominique strangled their relatives in their apartment. The bodies were found Monday during a wellness check in the Philadelphia suburb. The victims range in age from 9 to 42. Both women are now facing five counts of criminal homicide. Officials and neighbors say they're stunned. Now at 11, a mother sitting in jail suspected of killing her own daughter. Deputies say she drove to an Orlando hospital with the dead child inside that car. Within the past few hours, Rosa Rivera was booked into the Orange County Jail. This is her new mugshot. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Eichen. Glad you're with us tonight. Our cameras were there as deputies put her in handcuffs. Investigators say she stabbed the 11-year-old to death and then drove her to Winnie Palmer Hospital and even threatened police there. New 6 Jerry Askin is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Jerry, the question everyone is asking tonight is why? Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. The smiles in the family photos portrayed an image that was apparently far different than the reality inside the Hart family. Two white women married to each other who adopted six black children seemed the picture of diversity and joy. But as Clark County Detective Adam Beck told the inquest jury in California today, the family had a history, abuse complaints involving the children. They did some investigating amongst Child Protective Services and learned there was uh, some issues uh, against the family in 2011 in Minnesota. Beck recounted the digging that went on over the past year to understand what happened before Jennifer Hart, one of the moms, drove the family off a cliff in California, killing everyone inside. He showed an aerial picture of the family's woodland home and explained that after a neighbor reported potential abuse of the children a year ago, a welfare worker arrived the same day, but went to the wrong house and saw the Hart family SUV pull into the driveway. After they're talking with her, she points out that's the car and that's the house over there. They go to contact the family, but nobody answers the door. Um, the CPS worker walks around to the back, knocks on the door, nobody answers, she doesn't see anybody, um, so she ends up leaving. The next morning, the family had vanished. The neighbors report 
that the next day they noticed that the car was gone and that the blocks were, were knocked over. Um, and I asked them, is that something you would have noticed um, prior? And they said yes. So uh, it's likely that um, it happened overnight at, at some point when the, when the uh, gold Yukon disappeared. March 26th, tourists spotted it in Mendocino County at the base of a 70-foot cliff along the Pacific Ocean. Those inside were dead, two of the children were missing. The body of one eventually washed up on the shoreline. 15-year-old Devante was never found, but is also presumed to be dead. Good old American parents. Historians like thousands of other parents whose children have been abducted. With an Amber Alert issued overnight in Colorado, the FBI has now joined the search for 10-year-old Jessica. Every year, hundreds of Accounts people are reported of missing, are missing and vanishing, seemingly swallowed up. Evil demons allocated by Satan to do his work, to undermine good, to work evil, and to thwart the works and the plans of the will of God on this earth. If the Lord doesn't come back soon and catch us, you're about to face something that you can't even imagine. The sex trafficking and pedophilia case against Jeff Epstein. Eventually, it led to, well, now we're going to experiment and we're going to try you with another guy and see how you go. So they sent me to an island with a professor and, and I basically had to do what I did for Jeffrey for him. So it's very private. It's the perfect world for a billionaire getting away with what he was doing. He could hold big parties there and, and have huge orgies there and nobody would have any idea what was going on. Jeffrey Epstein's infamous Lolita Express. Passengers, including Oscar winner Kevin Spacey and even Bill Clinton. Richard Branson, members of several different royal families throughout Europe. These connections are what helped keep Epstein out of prison for sexually victimizing and prostituting dozens of young Millionaire people. Millionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein may be headed back to court after a judge hinted that sealed documents from his 2008 case could be made public. Epstein was given a plea deal to avoid sex trafficking charges in 2008 after several underage girls claimed he sexually abused them. The Miami Herald says the documents would prove that he was involved in a sex trafficking ring. You got a 12-year-old teenage daughter, you got a 13, 14, 15-year-old teenage daughter, who's you talking to on social media. The federal charges, which comprised a, a multi-page indictment, um, over 30 pages, they suddenly all went away. Well, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. She goes out to meet Prince Charming, but against principality, and you never see her again. And little boys. And children. Earlier this year, Wiener <laughs> pled guilty to dogs, one count of transferring obscene material to a minor. <laughs> <laughs> These fallen angels. He These desperate demons. And then six months later, a year later, they find her body. Now another cause of tension. Or what's left of it. Is the fear of falling. Buried in a shallow grave or tossed out into a ditch somewhere on the side of the road. And your daughter's gone. Pray for the lost sheep. They slipped. <laughs> Epstein was accused of building a vast network of underage girls, some as young as 13, girls he sexually abused in his Florida mansion and allowed other adult men to abuse as well. Filthy perverts are on there right now, and they want your children. God did not leave us helpless and ignorant concerning these demonic forces. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Might into God pulling down the strongholds. And prayer is the number one thing. So the word of God has authority. Demons tremble at the word of God. The Bible said the dead come forth when he speaks the word. And the scripture says the sick are healed. In the book of Ephesians, chapter number 6, the Bible talks about the armor of God. 
the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. But it also talks about the sword of the Spirit. And so I pray. There's hope for me that even though my life was so broken, God still loved me and can give me a second chance. God is real. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all eyes shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord that has spoken it. Would you pray? Would you pray for me and pray for each other? We need prayer, folks. I need you. I need you in my life. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, therefore is given it into your hand to know how to assault that one who wants to destroy you. You use it against your enemy, not flesh and blood. I need you. I need you. The more of the Word of God that you've memorized. The New Testament, and I read it, and I found out that you've hidden in the heart. I need you. I need you. The more of it that becomes part of your nature, the better equipped you are for the battle that rages around your soul. There is a war, folks. I'm not talking about a skirmish. There is a war going on right now for the souls of men. We hope you found this video informative and as always, we look forward to hearing your feedback in the comment section below. So we have to share some unfortunate news. This channel has been completely demonetized, which is going to make it very difficult to create content because it often takes us two or sometimes three weeks of intense researching, a lot of editing, writing, and creating original music arrangements. We really want to keep uploading content to this channel, but in order to continue putting our full attention and to make sure we present the best quality content we can give you, we're going to need as much help as possible. One of the big ways you can help us is subscribing to our second channel, Shepherd's Watch, and watching the videos that we upload to that channel. Shepherd's Watch is also demonetized, so we deleted all the videos on that channel and we're going to start from scratch in hopes that when we do resubmit this channel for monetization, the reviewers will approve it. As of now, we're depending on prayers, we're depending on our faith in Christ and your support to help us so we can continue to spread the truth and expose the satanic agenda that threatens all of us, our families, our friends, our loved ones. We definitely want to continue to get the message out there and we're not going to let them silence us. So as long as we have a platform, we're going to continue to do the content that we've been doing. We'd like to thank all our supporters who make it possible to do this work. If you would like to support us, please consider supporting us on Patreon. You could submit a one-time donation via PayPal, or you could purchase a t-shirt from our shop at Paradigm on Amazon and Spreadshirt.com. Please check out the links in the description box below. Thank you for your support. God bless.